Welcome back everyone to my IDC 44 run. This is Swiss Road number 3 where I'm up against Solomon at the top of his screen who is playing Fire Nature Rush and I'm at the bottom of his screen playing Live Water Dark Hydro Hurricane with Kick Assault. I'm going to win the die roll which may give me a slight advantage but uh yeah, I'm getting a terror pit in the first shield, so that's now that's definitely gonna give me an advantage. Because contrary to popular belief, uh, winning die roll against Rush with Hydro in particular doesn't give you that much of an advantage. I know because I have tested it extensively, and it tends to be tends to arrive at the same win-loss ratio regardless. So, yeah, uh, gonna be evolving Gigabars into Gear to run over the Sniper Mosquito. And now he's so desperate that he's charging in with uh, the Dismantler. Probably gonna cast energy stream and then play Bellix to get back Hydro and then I'm just gonna run over Rikabu could have potentially left a water mana untapped then I could have snared the Rikabu and discarded a card and now he's just gonna use his last remaining cards to get rid of Bellix and run over another shield and at this point with two Palolises in play, it's pretty much game for me. And yeah, he realizes that and he just scoops the game. I'm bound to draw another energy stream or mysterious at some point. Now it's gonna be on the play with a Gonta and I'm gonna answer with a Bellix on turn 2. The reason I didn't go for Spiral Gate is because I would have to charge a spell so then Bellix would no longer be there. I wouldn't really be able to summon Bellix without setting myself back in mana. So now I'm just gonna summon another blocker in the form of Giga Slug. I think it was a misplay to use uh, Volcanic arrows on Bellix because Conta can just run over Bellix. Uh, if I were to see him, I would have just summoned another Conta. Now, Miraculous Nair is just gonna take another Conta. And then I'm also gonna get a Terror Pit out of Shields to destroy the other Conta. And I even have a Cranium Clamp to discard the cards in his hand. I could do that or I could take this time to set up Mistrias because this is a big opportunity since he cannot kill me this turn so it's perfect time to just summon a Mistrias. So this allows me to draw two cards from the Speed Attacker and Hearty Cap and Polygon. Now all I have to do is uh, Bounce the hearty cap on to hand and then play cranium clamp to discard both and hope that he doesn't draw any speed attacker. Unfortunately for me he doesn't so now I can take my time and just summon a bunch of blockers. That uh, turn was his last chance to get a Heart of the Cards moment and draw a Speed Attacker. And I'm even gonna play Giga Slug in case he top decks uh, Magnus, so... And at this point he's just gonna type GG because he knows Mystery Ass is just gonna give me the game in a few turns. 
and uh, yeah that was the third round from IDC 44 and uh, yeah I'll see you next time my deck list should be on the screen for those of you who are interested and until next time see ya